morning i'm sam and welcome to so that sparkle with sam it's my vlogging and tutorial channel on youtube um i'm quite new to this vlogging malarkey um but you may have seen um some of my tutorials um because i've been posting quite a few on youtube and you may know me from always knitting and sewing because i am one of their tutors for their tutorial subscriptions and also their knit it stitch it site um so that's me um a little apologies i have seem to have fallen foul of this horrible 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 cold that's going around at the moment everyone that I talk to seems to have it so if I I've tested for the dreaded c word it is not that it is just a cold remember those we used to get them before we used to get colds all the time I haven't had one for a while and it's completely not me for six so I'm feeling a bit swimmy in the head um I may have to do a lot of editing to cut out all of my coughing um but yeah but that's me so i apologies if i don't sound quite as bright as breezy as i normally do i have got a cold um which made this what i'm about to tell you much much worse this morning so i have got my son living with us at the moment um he's back from university and he doesn't start his new job until november so um after quite a long time of it just being me and my husband um i've got three children but they don't all don't live at home anymore they've all gone and spread their wings um we've had joe the baby back at home which has but in the most part been really lovely um however this morning my beautiful husband as he always does because i'm very lucky brought me a cup of tea in bed this morning and I took the said tea and I was like, mm. goes in front of a normal sip. What is this? This is not right. So he tells me, I'm very sorry, darling. It's soya milk. I was like, we have soya milk in, you know, just in case you need it for anyone that has allergies or um, any vegans or anything. So I was like, what? I don't like soy milk. Why have, I, why have you put soy milk in my tea? Well, that is because Joseph last night, because he seems to like, like we'll go to bed and at half 10, 11 o'clock. And then that he, that's when he comes out to play. Um, they're a bit nocturnal, aren't they? These, uh, these I'd like to say t he's not a teenager anymore. He's 22. Um, but yeah, so he obviously had a bit of a uh, Honey Nut Cheerios feast last night and drank all of the milk. Really, really drank all the milk. You know, shops are open twenty four hours. He could have gone to the, could have gone to the shop and bought some milk. No, instead, I had to wake up this morning with a cold and soy milk in my tea. It was very disappointing. I can't tell you how disappointing it was. So, instead of getting up nice and early, which was my plan this morning to do the video night nice and bright and early. I had to get up and go to the shop. But here's the good part about that. So I went to the shop to get some milk and they had Jaffa cakes on offer. They were only a pound. So do you know what? It's a good day for a Jaffa cake. So, so, yeah. so you know, he's forgiven. I have left him a note downstairs saying he's got unstacked dishwasher. I feel that that's fair, but you know. Anyway, enough about that. I just wanted to tell you why I was, you know, feeling a bit not really with it this morning. So today I am wearing, let me stand up and show you, you can see all the pockets, uh, one of my Me Maids, which is the We Are Courage pullover tank top. Um, I love a shirt. A shirt is great, but um, with it being a bit cooler, you need something to wear over the top. So this is really really good and you can make it with any kind of knit fabric um this is a boiled wool which is super 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 warm um so yeah so and and actually because um it's that charcoal -y, gray color it goes with everything so it's uh it's a nice one to wear 
Um, so yeah, so that's the We Are Courage pullover tank top, which I'm wearing today. Um, and those of you that have uh, followed me, I'm not, I'm not really a dressmaker as such. I'm just kind of a learnt it all in lockdown sewer. Um, and uh, and just have a go at everything really. I've had a little go at dabbling in um, in dressmaking, uh, but I my joy is making beginner friendly tutorials. That is that is my joy. Um, I've a teacher background, so I just I love teaching, um, and I just because I found it so difficult to find really good beginner friendly tutorials online during lockdown I thought well I'm going to make my own so I try and make them as beginner friendly jargon free as possible and to fill them with as many tips and tricks as I possibly can so that's what I like to do um so yeah so so what have I been what else have I been doing apart from apart from feeling full of cold oh yes so this week it's October and uh, this week Always Knitting and Sewing have started their October Members Challenge, Has hashtag October Members Challenge and it is to make one of these which is my Mr Clippy which is a little pin cushion come weighted cushion with these little flap tabs on um, for holding all of your clips. Um, I love working with clips. Pins have their place, but I have to say I love clips. Um, and you can just keep keep them all on there. So um, Mr Clippy is a tutorial on the Knit It Stitch It site for Always Knitting Stone, but it's also, if you follow me, it's also on my YouTube channel. Um, so yeah, so Mr Clippy is, it's an absolutely lovely lovely make um if like me you don't like throwing any scraps away um this is what this is definitely one for you because you can make it the biggest piece that you need is a five inch square so like a charm pack five inch square that's the biggest piece you need and you only need one of those everything else uh, five inches is the longest you need and it's just strips and um so i defy anyone not to have that that kind of scraps around if you sew you're going to have those bits and pieces around um, and you can make it with that I mean this is like all completely scrappy so they, these were all completely different fabrics looks great um, or you can go cord you know for my red for my red dates um, or you can go which I've done autumnal um and actually it doesn't matter what fabrics you use either i've got a bit of cool joy because i just had a bit of cool joy um scrap on this one um so yeah so if you are not a member of always knitting and sewing knit it stitch it club do so that to be a part of the sharing site is completely free if you want to be a vip it's you can have your first month for a pound and for that pound you get over a hundred tutorials um, some of which I do, some of which absolutely fantastic tutors um, will do knitting, crocheting and also more sewing. And there's also Chloe who does our block of the month. Um, so if you if you like, if you like sewing, it's a good site to be part of. Um, hop on there. Uh, yeah, but if you just want a bit of fun, free, um, go on the Knit It, Stitch It Facebook page and um make yourself make yourself a mr clippy handy addition to your sewing room so yeah so that's um and later this week i will be doing um some more tutorials for always knitting and sewing i've got some christmas makes lined up i've got a christmas decoration garland i'm not going to give too much away but i've got a christmas decoration garland coming up i've got a perfect gift solution for christmas coming up and um i've got three things there's two. oh and i've got a storage a fantastic storage solution coming up so those ones are, will be the next ones coming up and i've also got a couple of tutorial ideas to go on my youtube 
channel um but i'm i'm i've not really had time to think about those too much so i'm they're definitely not filmed and ready to go so they all might be a couple of weeks before they go up so yeah so that's what i have been doing i have been fairly busy um so yeah i've also been part of the upcycle 22 challenge um my vlogging date for that is the 26th of october so i won't go into too much detail about what i've been doing for that because i'm going to let you all fill you all in on the 22nd of october but i have been getting on with that and that's been really exciting um i'll put links and stuff below if you want to join in that and find out more information i've also the other oh, the great thing about um the upcycle challenge is um it's made me look at lots of different vloggers um there's so many um different vloggers that i i i just not seen before um and i'm really really enjoying kind of being part part of their family and kind of like finding out what other people do because i know that I mean, a lot of the vloggers on this challenge um, uh, seem to be dressmakers and seamstresses, and which is fantastic. I because I'm definitely not that, um, but it's just nice to get different perspectives from things. So, um, so yeah, so that's been that's been really good. And then other than that, I've just been uh, keeping myself out of trouble, and uh, yeah, and enjoying doing a bit of sewing for me as well, which has been really nice. Um, my uh how my circumstances have changed quite a lot over the last few years um i was i was kind of covid retired which was was difficult but actually turned out to be one of the best things um and so with me and me and my husband are trying to kind of do a little bit of a sort and a tidy of our whole entire lives <laughs> um but we're giving ourselves goals we're not doing all of this in one fell swoop we're you know um but this month's challenge um is that me and my husband have both said that we have a lot of stuff and we do we have a lot of stuff so um he signed us up for something called vinted which i'm sure that everyone knew about I didn't um, and we started selling some of our bits and pieces on Vinted, um, a lot of my shoes and handbags which of course I don't use anymore um, and and he's got lots of techie bits and pieces and stuff that he's been selling and yeah and so we have had and it's and it's been great for two reasons, a little bit extra money in the bank, you know it's always handy for that extra takeout bottle of wine, you know all of the luxury extras but the best thing about it is it's made me think really carefully about what I want in my space. So by doing it in the rest of the house, it's made me rethink my sewing room a bit because um, because I, I've, I've got a bit of ADHD um, and I'm very, I, my, my brain works in a very peculiar way um and i you know I, I leave doors open and drawers open and i leave have stuff hanging around and it's how i work and that's fine because that's good for my brain um but actually what i realized is, is is if i only have the things around me that i need then i can still work in the way that i work but be tidy as well so it's taken me <laughs> It's taken me quite a few years to realise that but yeah so it's been really really good so vintage is definitely the way forward I'm hoping to get much more space so that I can start clearing out things and um, yeah and making my life easier for me more organised for me um, I think in the past I think you do this when you're a mum you do all of these things for other people you want to make your family's life better you want to make you know son or your daughter's room nice and tidy and you know better um and you you don't normally do things for you and actually now I'm like I'm gonna do this for me and that's brilliant it's fantastic so yeah so that's me for today sorry it's been very very chatty and I've not really talked much talked much about sewing I've just talked about life um if you enjoy then please subscribe 
Um, if you subscribe to my channel, you'll get to see all of my tutorials as well. If you want to leave a comment below of any tutorials that you think might be useful, and then I will have a look. I can't promise you that I'll do them all. Sometimes I have very long lists, but if there's any that you think that you might like, um, then let me know because I'm I'm always looking for ideas. And um, and yeah, and uh, have a lovely day, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.